Today I'm going to unbox and review the newer portable 62 inch uh, tripod right here. And I bought this on Amazon for $59 or $59.99. Uh, see the link below, it'll be in the video description. And basically I'm going to show you all the features it has uh, and talk about a few of the things that uh, uh, actually gave it a four star rating instead of a five star rating. So let's get to that first. Now, I think this is an excellent, excellent tripod, right? Uh, unfortunately, the advertisers have a little bit of a misleading picture in there that makes it look like it has a monopod, but uh, we basically detach one of the legs and turn it into a monopod. And that is not the case with this uh, particular um, tripod. This is the aluminum version, not the carbon fiber version. The carbon fiber version allegedly has a uh, detachable leg that you can turn into a monopod. This one does not. Uh, now, to be fair, the ad has no text that points to it being a, uh, an option on this uh, tripod, but the picture shows one of the legs as being detachable and the manual you get with it also shows it that it, what the foam leg is detachable and you can turn it into a monopod. But once again, it cannot be this, the aluminum version cannot be turned into a monopod. Not a big deal in my case. I already have a monopod. It's not that great a, a, a great a feature for me. Okay, but I'll tell you what it does come with. It comes with an all metal head, which is excellent. It, it's uh, very well built a head on it. Um, it, it, it is aluminum construction, but it's not all aluminum construction. There are some plastic components and I will go through the plastic components uh, and the aluminum construction on the teardown or the uh, unboxing. And then I'm going to tear it down a bit, show you some of the hidden features that are not in the manual itself. I'll go through a few um, uh, configurations that weren't in the uh, actual user manual as well that can be, be done with this tripod. Uh, again, it's a very... Um, I don't know, adaptable tripod. I'm totally in love with it. But I've actually bought two of these at this point. I'm using one right now. Uh, other things about this tripod, it comes with a, a, a nylon carrying case and a, a protecting bag, a, a velvet protecting bag for the head. The head is detachable. Another thing that's not mentioned in the manual is that it is the head is an Arca Swiss type mounting um, uh, plate and uh, clamp along with a ball head on it that has a 360 swivel on it as well. Excellent, excellent features. I will show you those things uh, in the unboxing and uh, the feature review. Uh, as well, it's, uh, you know, about four pounds total weight, so it's not super light. Um, it's, not, it's not a pro uh, professional tripod, but for your regular user, it's more than uh, good enough. I think it's, uh, you know, pretty excellent. Uh, and w one of the other reasons I bought it was because it's 62 inches in height. And I, I found that my short little Walmart tripod that I've been using for years now, it's just a little too wobbly and not tall enough to get the, some of the shots I want. I want to be able to shoot down into stuff. Uh, the plate that comes with it is Arca Soft, sorry, it's a Arca Swiss plate and uh, it's adaptable to um, cameras as well as, sorry, to video cameras as well as SLRs. I've used it on both and I'll show you how it mounts on either one of those. And basically, uh, I think for the price, you just can't beat it. Uh, so let's get down to the unboxing and uh, the feature review. And I will also show you some configurations that are not shown in the manual. And also there is a hidden feature on this uh, tripod that was not stated in the manual as well. So there's a few things in the manual that are not there. I will go over them in the uh, unbox and feature review. So here we have the newer portable 62 inch 158 centimeter aluminum alloy camera tripod. As you can see it's attractively packaged so if you're going to send it to somebody as a gift uh, I'm sure they'll be impressed with that with the uh, way it looks right out of the box. And uh, just so you know how much it weighs for shipping, I'm just going to do a quick weigh on it. And it is 4.12 pounds, as you can see right here. So uh, for shipping purposes, uh, the actual tripod in the box is, is uh, 4.12 pounds. So let's take it out of the box now. And uh, we'll weigh it again inside its carrying case and then by itself without the carrying case. 
All right, there we have the attractive carrying case or, or nylon carrying case that came with. Real nice. This is a, a nice bonus at the uh, $59 uh, range of a, of a tripod. I think it's a plus to have a carrying case and a sack, and it looks quite nice. It does have a strap for shoulder uh, holding, and uh, uh, let's see how much it weighs in the actual package itself. So let's do this again. And it's 3.43 pounds. Uh, in the actual shipping package, uh, you know, I don't know what else is in here, probably plastic and so on. So it'll probably weigh less than this bear. So let's do that next. It opens up uh, about halfway, so it's not going to spill right out of the bag if you're holding it up correctly. Um, pull it out. Let's see what we got. Well, it's wrapped in plastic, as we can see there. There we go. Put the carrying case away and you can see a folded up tripod inside a plastic cover let's take that out of the plastic cover and we have a manual with what looks like a 5 30 seconds uh, allen oh, sorry uh, hex key and the actual tripod itself and uh, looks like chinese manual hopefully it's english on the other side so we'll check that in a second but let's see how much it weighs and another nice thing here, just so you can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, comes with a velvet uh, black bag to protect the head. That's really nice in shipping and, and it's nice for keeping it, uh, you know, scratch free when you uh, are using it yourself. So let's take this again, do another weight on it, bear. And the bear weight on the tripod is 3.02 pounds. So uh, let's take the sack off and we'll say it's three pounds exactly so not a bad weight so let's measure it out folded and from the very tip to the very end of the feet 18 inches uh, pretty cool that a 62 inch high tripod can actually fold into 18 inches but there we go so let's unfold it and uh, then we're going to remove the sack from uh, uh, the actual um, head. As you heard there, there's three clicks for every lock here. So there's three uh, uh, possible locking angles on those, uh, uh, on these uh, legs. And uh, I'm going to take a picture of one of them. Like most of the configurations are there on the uh, uh, Amazon uh, buying page or I believe they're in the manual too, but there's one that they didn't show that's really handy, actually a couple. And uh, I'll take pictures of those for you so that you can see them, but there we go, it's uh, unfolded. And now we're gonna take the center tube, unlock it a bit, slide it down, lock it up again. And I'm gonna take this uh, sack off here so we can see, protective bag I should say, so we can see the actual. And you can see that it has protected that somewhat because there's uh, scars and scuffs on the bag uh, from it being hit obviously in, in uh, shipping so I'm going to use that when I put it away so there we go it's uh, now we're looking at the uh, disassembled um, unit and uh, fully let's see let's take it like this so fully extended and ready to go in its lowest leg settings it is 23 inches tall so pretty cool um, I'm not going to measure it any more than that I mean if you want to know how wide it is we'll do a width here it's about uh, three and uh, about four inches wide at its widest point which is here at the uh, collar for the legs so that's the actual uh, look of it now one of the things that I want to stress to everybody which I noticed right away is that when the legs lock they only lock in one direction. In other words, they only lock in, in when you're pushing in that direction. So let's see, let's take it up a notch here to the next one. Okay, and you see here that it locks, but it only locks against that, that direction. It doesn't lock against this direction, okay? So the legs can push freely inwards. Uh, they can't push outwards. So. 
Uh, I'd be aware of that because uh, if something were to bump into the into the tripod in the right way, then the leg, leg could uh, collapse inward and make the uh, tripod fall. So understand that they don't lock on the inward position, they only lock on the outward position. Uh, so we have this angle. that angle and then all the way up to the last angle which I believe is about 15 degrees and that would cause the actual tripod to lie pretty close to the ground uh, wide open in a very very solid stance. I'm going to take a picture of that uh, stance because it's not in the manual. So that's what we have there for physical uh, measurements and weights. Uh, we'll go next to features. So first we're going to inspect the uh, head of the actual tripod, which I find very impressive. It's all metal uh, head. All the pieces are metal, um, which I like, which makes it, uh, you know, for me, uh, heavy duty construction. Not so cheap like the old, the, the cheaper plastic uh, heads that you get on like the Walmart version of uh, uh, tripods. But uh, it looks really cool. Another really, really neat feature on this is the Arca Swiss uh, clamp that they use. This is a industry standard, uh, uh, non-proprietary, well proprietary to Arca Swiss, but uh, non-proprietary to newer. Uh, basically you can buy all sorts of uh, hardware that's Arca Swiss and clamp it onto this tripod uh, from all sorts of third-party uh, suppliers and, and also including uh, newer because they sell a lot of it. So here's the, the head portion. Uh, let's go take, let's take a look at it and uh, um, what I'm going to show you is its, it's function first. You see here the locking uh, screw or, or, or uh, uh, you know, le lever is actually uh, made of metal, all metal, which is really nice with a uh, small plastic cap on this side. But again, it's, it is a screw type uh, uh, thumb knob and it is metal with a knurled uh, a pattern on the top, which is really nice. And as you can see, that opens and closes the locking uh, uh, feature of the actual um, plate or, or, or mounting plate. Now notice that even unlocked totally the plate didn't fall off. Okay, It still stays on. Now it comes off really easy but it's, it does once you put it in there you know unless you do what I just did it tends to want to stop. So now if I just slightly tighten it so I can't pull the plate off that plate's never sliding off. So even loose the plate will hold your camera from sliding out. The only time it can actually come off is when you take it, you know, and open the jaw far enough for it to be pulled out, you know. So, nice feature on the Arca uh, Swiss mounting system. Anyway, so let's just take the plate off. I'll show you that. And uh, you can see that it's, this is all metal too, uh, all metal construction. Four nice uh, cushioning pads here to uh, protect your camera from the actual metal scratching your, your, uh, the surface on your camera uh, and a tightening screw, a, a, you know, a one quarter 20 uh, standard uh, tightening screw here. And it is, right, one of the unfortunate things about that is that it does not have a D-ring on it. But, you know, it's a fairly large screw. You can use a quarter or, or a dime or a nickel or something like that to tighten it up or just a screwdriver. But if you don't like this screw, it actually is removable, and I will show you how to remove it and uh, replace it with a D-ring screw, like, I don't know if you can really see that, like this one. And I'll take it out of the package here. A D-ring screw like this one, which will allow you to get your fingers on it to actually tighten it up with your fingers and use that as a type of handle to tighten it up. So I'll show you how to do that later on in the video, but uh, basically there's the plate. Now, again, because it's an Arca Swiss plate, you don't need to, you're not stuck with this plate. It's, it's not, you know, you can buy other plates that will fit this clamping system, no problem at all. Another thing to note is that there is no index key on this, and this is what I mean by, an, or index uh, uh, post on this. Uh, most uh, handheld uh, video cams have an index post here, and that basically assures that when you lock it down to the plate, it doesn't move around. And uh, that's missing on this mounting plate, but that's by design. Uh, primarily because I think they're, they're thinking about the DS, DSLR uh, market and the DSLR uh, cameras only have the uh, uh, mounting hole here 
for the screw. So they don't have an index pin or a locking pin on the front or back to uh, lock it down. So if it was there on the plate, it would be uh, in the way for this mount. That uh, covers that plate. Like I said, all sorts of different ones available uh, online from newer or from other third party uh, manufacturers. Next, I'm gonna show you the, uh, the ball action. This is a ball head and when you, when you loosen this knob, it actually loosens the, the whole assembly so it can move. Again, another, uh, this tightening uh, knob here is metal with a nice rubber, um, I don't know, a ring around it to, to, you know, make it feel that much better and that much higher quality. So let's just move this ring up like this so you can see the top of the uh, plate. And you'll see on the top of the plate there that we have a uh, leveling bubble, nice to have. Uh, we have a um, 530 seconds uh, uh, hex key uh, a bolt there or screw. And what that allows us to do is remove the uh, clamping, the uh, clamp from the actual head and replace it with another uh, uh, you know, clamp of any type that you want, including a quick release or whatever. But this is not a quick release. As you can see, it's a screw type uh, clamp. And once it locks it down, uh, trust me, it's not going anywhere. So first I'm going to show you how that once you put it in, it, it locks into the actual plate quite nicely because of these two pegs on the actual plate. So into the clamp, once you tighten it down, you don't have to go very tight. It's not going anywhere. It's just solid. So you don't have to worry about losing anything once you clamp it down. And even if it was loose, as long as there's enough bite on it, it's not going anywhere. So I'm going to take that off. And um, so, you know, later on in the video, I'm going to show you how to remove this uh, plate and, uh, you know, what, and how to put it back on and that it can be easily removed. But uh, right now I'm just showing you the feature. So, uh, nice uh, clamp with the leveling uh, bubble on it. And again, ball, so it goes in any direction you want. So I'm just going to lock that down here lightly. You'll notice that there's uh, uh, degrees marked around the edge of this. Well, the reason... Uh, around the ball head because it does have the ability to pan. So if I turn it, you'll see. All right, you see a little marker there and basically it goes around and allows you to uh, pan the head. Now, there is one issue with that that I had and number one issue is that the way that the, the tension on this, on this uh, 360 a pan is controlled is with this knob. So I have one knob to control the panning and the, the uh, tension on the actual ball head itself. So if you want it to be loose to pan easily, then you got to loosen it down pretty light. And, and you know, though it, it is quite light uh, right at the moment, it does give you a good, you know, pretty good grip on your actual uh, locking plate. But, you know, again, that, you know, see what happens. If you move it at all, it, it loosens there. So, you know, I'm going to tighten it down a little bit and then show you that it does actually pan. But, you know, that's not the function of, uh, of this actual head. This, though it can pan, you know, uh, if you want a panning feature, you want to buy a uh, proper head for this for uh, video production with uh, fluid panning and, uh, you know, uh, tilt so that you have a, a much easier way of moving it. But it can be moved quite easily if you've got the uh, tripod uh, secured down to something and you don't want to move the tripod, you can actually pan 360 all the way around and then tighten it down where you want. So another nice feature there. The other thing uh, about this head is that it is actually removable from the actual rest of the, the uh, uh, tripod. It comes apart at this junction here. And I will show you that when I disassemble the whole thing. Uh, but at this point, I was just, I wanted to show you the features uh, of the center tube and the, the locking ring, which is a nice metal locking ring with a rubber ring around it. Nice, good quality uh, looking unit. And basically, we're going to loosen it up. And that allows us to move the center, uh, uh, the center pipe up and down without any issue whatsoever, nice and smoothly. Note that the center tube is also aluminum, so it's all aluminum construction, aluminum legs, uh, aluminum um, center tube. I'm not sure what the center uh, hub is made out of, but it is metal. And uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll comment on the leg construction after I comment on this uh, center tube. As you can see, it does slide up and down, no problem. And 
note here at the very end that it does have a, a hook and this hook is used for uh, securing the tube down to something like say you want to put a weight on it to make it a little more stiff or a little more uh, you know stable or you want to tie it down to something you could tie it to this hook right here and the hook is you know can actually pull out like so and I'll show you other things that the, this tube can do when I'm disassembling it but right now I just wanted to show you the features so there's the hook hooking feature for the center tube next thing in the in the makeup of this nice little tripod is the actual uh, legs themselves so this is where you know I have a bit of, of uh, um, I don't know this may but uh, remember I've got to keep remembering this is a $59 um, $59.99 uh, tripod and, and for the price I don't think you can beat it I think it's just an amazing value but uh, I wanted to show you things about the construction here that uh, you know uh, you know show the price range that this is in number one these collars for the legs are all made out of plastic okay so these are plastic though they, they're pretty thick and pretty heavy duty they are still plastic so they're they're you know susceptible to uh, damage uh, if you drop them hard enough I'm sure they break or crack um, I'm not going to test that of course but uh, they are made out of plastic now the the locks here look like they're made out of aluminum and they have a nice uh, function to them they have a nice uh, way of working so I really do like how they uh, they operate and they look fairly sharp there now the next thing is this leg has a foam Let me zoom that out again this leg has a foam piece to it right here I would have to call it a comfort form foam and just basically makes it nicer to hold the uh, metal now it's in a, in a hot environment this is black if you had this out in 120 degree weather you touch the tubes you'd probably burn your hand but this is there to protect you from that and similar in, in freezing cold weather if it's minus 40 and you touch a metal tube with your bare hand oof, you're gonna have a problem but you still have the foam here to pick it up from so that gives you the ability and it's big enough for both my hands so that you know you can you wheel it around no problem using the foam now um, so that's that's the construction from the shoulder down here like I said this is plastic the tubes are aluminum so that's not an issue now let's go down here to the actual locking clamps for the legs uh, I, as you can see nice design very uh, uh, stylish and uh, they actually work quite well but again this is where the price of the tripod actually shows itself these are all made out of plastic uh, but the pins that the uh, the actual locks uh, rotate on are steel or, or metal so that's a quality uh, piece and it's a nice looking pin it's a very solid looking pin right here Let's see if I can actually get show you that those pins there they are and, and get some light on it there we go there's the pins and they're, they're solid and they're, they're quite a, a good diameter some metal there so not bad and uh, the function of these these uh, locks is actually quite nice so we'll just take one off so you can see that it's, it's a very uh, tight lock and uh, you know it snaps off when when you actually put it on and uh, now you can extend the leg or whatever which is standard or most uh, not standard but uh, a lot of uh, uh, tripods have this system for locking the legs others have a, a knurled lock that actually locks the legs as well but th this has got these clip type uh, locks so basically uh, that's how it opens and then we're going to cl close it down I'll show you how it locks down and again you get a nice uh, responsive click you know when it's open you know when it's closed uh, I like that that's engineered well as far as I'm concerned and uh, that's basically it for the locks all the locks operate the same way which is cool now we look at the legs we'll go down to the very very uh, tip of the actual uh, tripod which are the the feet now in the manual you know, bring out the manual here the feet are not adjustable like they are in a lot of uh, different tripods I've had uh, where you had the actual option to unscrew them to make them longer or shorter to adjust the length of the leg or they had a center spike that was made out of metal these are just rubber feet and again not a big issue for me that'll work just fine with my uh, equipment it's uh, perfectly suited to my uh, function not, but if you require these to unscrew or the center metal spike that some of these tripods have 
then uh, this one's not for you. Now, the uh, controversy in uh, uh, Amazon, from what I can see from the reviews, is that for some reason people think that this is going to be a monopod as well, though it's not advertised as one. This uh, foam piece is shown in the manual, uh, but it's not shown as uh, removable. Uh, so, you know, there's no false advertising there, but they do have a picture on the actual uh, Amazon webpage that shows that you can uh, turn it into a monopod. Well, this is, doesn't show that here at all. And uh, also here on number two, I was trying to show that with the feet. It does show that you can unscrew the, the feet, but I haven't been able to unscrew them. I'll try it one more time here, but nope. That's as tight as, a, a, as hard as I want to turn that before uh, I go any harder than that. I don't want to break them. So the uh, feet do not unscrew on this model either. I believe this manual uh, is covering the, uh, what do you call it, the carbon fiber version of this uh, uh, tripod as well as this one. So, and uh, one more comment on the manual, uh, it looks like it was just Google translated from Chinese. So, I mean, you can make out what they're saying, but it's kind of cryptic. So, that's basically it for the uh, form and function of the tripod. Next, I'm going to start disassembling it for you so that you can see uh, how you can actually customize this to your own uh, liking. So removing the locking uh, plate shouldn't be a real big deal. Comes, the uh, kit comes with the uh, 530 seconds uh, hex key. So basically we're going to place it in the center there and remove that bolt. And looks like it's on there pretty tight. There we go. As I said, it was on there very tight, and that's a good thing, because you don't want that plate coming off. So basically remove the center bolt, as you can see right there, and the whole plate comes off, and now you can mount whatever you'd like to that uh, uh, ball head, uh, any kind of Arca Swiss, Swiss um, uh, mounting plate or accessory uh, that's compatible with this mount should work for you. So. Again, you're not stuck with this plate. You can uh, actually uh, remove it and uh, put whatever you'd like on this head. And you can actually remove the head as well. So I'm going to show you how to remove the head next. And again, that gives you a lot of flexibility with this uh, system or this tripod because you can, there's hundreds of heads or, and, and plates and, and different accessories that you can actually screw onto these, this tripod at this point. So, you know, I really do like the Arca Swiss standard. So, so right now to remove the head, what you need to do, the uh, first step is to lock the actual swivel action on this thing. So take the uh, locking knob and tighten it down nice and tight. And what that does is it locks the upper portion of the swivel head to the lower portion of the swivel head. Then you're going to have to hold this collar here, this uh, bottom collar, collar, and it separates between these two sections right here. So I'm going to do that now. And it, of course we're going to turn the head counterclockwise to get it to screw off. So there we go. And just unscrew it. Now what that exposes is the uh, uh, a locking screw here. And I'll show you what's special about that next. So first thing to note is how much is actually sticking out here. So you really don't need any more than that uh, to come out of there. And the hint there is that it is adjustable. So uh, I'm going to uh, show you that. Uh, another thing I didn't, I forgot to show you while uh, showing you the center tube is that there's a, lo a locking collar here and what the locking collar does is allows you to attach things to the tube like your camera or whatever so that in case that uh, if it falls off the mount it only you know you can clip it to this and it won't go anywhere and it's rubber so there it is that's I th think that's the only function as it won't stop the tube from traveling in any direction whatsoever but regardless we're back to the head here and so we've taken the uh, the swivel head off, the ball swivel head off, and uh, next I'm going to show you something that, that I found was really interesting and, and, and hidden on this uh, beautiful little tripod. So now we're looking above the center uh, post and you notice here that uh, it has instructions for loose, uh, tighten, and loose and tighten. So basically I'm going to loosen it by spinning it counterclockwise and you just have to spin it a little bit and then it's basically loose. Then take the center bolt and turn it off like so or you can spin it like this if you want doesn't matter and at a certain point it comes right off now 
When it comes off, you have a piece that looks like this. And notice that it's made out of metal. This collar is a, 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 a shrouded in plastic, but the, that the, the center of it is actually metal, which I really like. So that's cool. But when you take this uh, plug off, you'll notice that this is a, what they call a 3 8 uh, 16 UNC bolt. And this is the larger uh, standard for uh, locking down camera equipment. So if you have larger uh, camera equipment with a uh, 3 8 16 UNC thread, then this bolt is right there for you to, to mount to. As well, the bolt on the inside of the actual uh, aluminum center post is also uh, compatible with that. So that's beautiful. Now the next thing I noticed that was really neat, and it wasn't anywhere in the manual, is that at the top they changed the threading too, so that you have a quarter inch, uh, quarter inch 20 UNC um, thread at the top as well. So you can actually mount the camera directly to that or any accessory you want to that. So by just doing this, screwing it in, I'll show you there a little bit, there we go. You see that now you have that, that flexibility to change the, the thread on the top. That's hidden, you don't, it's not even in the manual. So that's a, a nice thing I found in, in taking this thing apart. So we'll take that right out. Again, you see right in the center, there's a uh, 3 8 uh, six, dash 16 UNC uh, thread there. So you can mount whatever you'd like to that as well. And uh, at this point, you've got the head right off, you've got the bolt off, and you take this collar off of here, and you can take the tube right off the actual um, uh, unit by loosening the collar. There we go. And now it just slides right on out. And now the tube's in your hand. So let me zoom this back out. And you can see this low profile uh, configuration I have right here, which is, uh, I don't know, about a 15 degree angle on this uh, tripod. But when you have it like this, this thing's not going anywhere. You put this on the ground and it's like, it'll uh, definitely be solid and uh, uh, though low, but very solid standing. I guess you could get a larger tube for this and make it taller, but I mean, that's a really nice feature there. And I'm gonna take a picture of this, you know, side, uh, side on so you can see what it looks like. So there we have the center tube. And as we noted, there is a uh, threaded uh, nut on this side. Um, and the end cap is actually made out of plastic. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, that, so that's kind of a minus there. But I mean, again, it's a $59 uh, unit, so you know there's going to be some sacrifices made to that price point. So there's the end, the end cap. Let's see if I can zoom that in for you. There we go. And you can see the thread in the center and the uh, plastic uh, shroud that holds it there. And th this has a, a nice other feature too. It's got a deep channel in the center to keep it from uh, turning once you lock it. And at the bottom we have a, a, a a ring, and this ring is there just to stop the uh, uh, tube from going all the way through on the way up or on the way down because once you have this tube out, like this, you can flip it over and put it in the other way. So let me find the channel here, there we go, and now it's upside down. And at that point what you could do is you could put the head back on the bottom half of this uh, uh, tube and then mount the camera on the bottom, right? So then you'd have a super, super stable uh, platform because then you have a low center of gravity as opposed to having it on top of the, the tripod where you, the center of gravity goes up. So that's another neat feature. Now, one more neat feature that I found and that is that this uh, locking screw at the bottom that you see here, uh, it actually is removable and again this is plastic hardware so that's that's the only caveat I have about it. The, uh, the, the pla black part on this uh, hook is actually made out of plastic so you know, that's a weak point, but again, this is a, at this price point, I, I'm not complaining. So it just screws off, and then you see the whole uh, hook assembly. So I'll zoom that in. As you can see, a uh, plastic cap, but uh, the hook assembly just screws off. And again, another bonus here, um, you can actually take this cap off, no problem. And the other end of the tube has a 3 8 uh, 16 UNC a thread on it. So in theory, if you bought, a, if you got another one of these uh, threaded screws like like this one, you could put one on this end and put a head on that side, and actually put another one on the other end, and put a head on the other end. So you could actually mount two cameras on this tripod at one time using the top and bottom of the center tube. Beautiful feature, uh, and again. 
Not really advertised in the manual, but there it is. Uh, really, really uh, big plus and uh, impressive feature on this tripod, uh, which I don't think even the manufacturer, uh, well, maybe the manufacturer knows about it, but they're not advertising it. So that is a very, very neat thing about that center tube. So uh, that's disassembled. So that's the, the, the center tube. Uh, next, uh, I'd have to point out that, uh, again, the, the base, the, the heart of the unit, this ring here that holds the legs and the tube and the center tube, that's all metal, right? And the locking uh, collar here is metal as well. Uh, but the insides, again, are plastic. So again, at this price, price point, there's some sacrifices to be made. Uh, the other thing is these, the locking mechanism on the legs. It's really solid, really nice sound when you click through. And when, and when they lock in, they lock in nice and tight, but they only lock in, as, as I pointed out, in one direction. So as you can see here, that's, they only have, uh, they have one, two, and three positions, and then they fold away. So you have three positions of angle, and uh, really uh, cool uh, on those angles, because with the lowest angle will give you a very, very neat uh, configuration, and not all of them have to be at the same angle. So here's what I mean see that these here are at the uh, 15 degree angle and this is at the probably 45 degree angle I would say so you can change the angle on any single one of the legs to get any kind of configuration you wish or angle you want on your tube so that's a really cool feature another bonus on these things now the next thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to uh, remove the hex nuts and as you can see the uh, sorry the, he the hex key uh, bolts on this all right, pretty hefty. Let me zoom in on that. There we go. They're hefty, and it's a good-looking unit. I really, uh, when you're looking at this unit, you're thinking, "Wow, that's that's quite a nice tripod." I mean, it's not doesn't look like your Walmart $15 tripod, and you know, for the price, I wouldn't expect that. But I, I, I got a lot of unexpected surprises on this uh, actual unit, including the Arca Swiss uh, mount, which is you know an industry standard at this point. So uh, I'm going to take these. Uh, uh, bolts off here and now this at this point we're we're going too far you really don't need to do this um, it's basically at this point we're done with with the actual uh, you know function of the unit but I'm just going to show you this to show you what uh, the inside looks like and what's involved and uh, the quality that they used on this now again this is plastic here but this is not this is steel or metal anyway So again, the hex key works on all the nuts and bolts on this thing. That's a nice feature. And uh, at this point, I'm turning that, but the other side is turning. So just I'm just going to hold it with my finger here and pull it out. So yeah, it's, it is. You can remove the leg, but it's not going to be a monopod ever. It doesn't. On the manual, it shows, or on the, on the net, it, uh, uh, sorry, on Amazon, it shows that this part of, portion of the leg comes off. But it doesn't on this uh, on this at all. So don't even try. You just break it if you try and force it. Okay. So there's the nut. It comes with a washer and a collar on it. Quite nice. Let's do the other side. Okay. At this point, this one's loose. All right. I've removed the uh, uh, nuts from that, or screws, I should say, and. Uh, you know, nice, nice hardware and a nice quality touch. And I'll show you what that quality touch is. Uh, you see the blue? They used uh, uh, Loctite, blue Loctite to uh, hold the screws in so that they don't come out. That's, uh, that's a quality feature. And I'm going to put some blue Loctite when I put it back in. Now that's able, uh, I'm able to pull the leg off here. So I'm going to pull the leg off. And there's two internal washers on that leg. As you can see, the lock is still in there. But now it's much looser, of course. And uh, if we look inside, we'll see that there's a screw. There we go. Hopefully that we can focus in. There's a screw and a spring, a metal spring in there holding that on. So that's basically the construction of the leg, uh, actual uh, axle there or, or joint. And uh, quite nice, actually. And, and I'm glad that they used uh, Loctite in there. Uh, that shows a bit of... Uh, uh, quality touch that they didn't really have to do. They could have just tightened those nuts down and said, see you later, have a nice day. So uh, the fact that they use Loctite in there tells me that they care a little bit uh, about the quality of the build and how long these screws stay in.
So next I'm going to put all this back together again. I'll do this in fast motion so that you can see it all go back together again. And uh, at the end of this video, uh, I will put uh, some pictures of the uh, mounting hardware that you can actually buy for the Arca Swiss system. And as well, uh, I'll show a few configurations that aren't in the manual or weren't on the uh, 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 Amazon advertisement that this does. And uh, it's really kind of cool. So, um, you know, stay tuned for that. I forgot to uh, uh, do the center uh, screw or uh, three, uh, sorry, quarter inch 20 screw on this that I was going to put the D ring on. So let's do that right now. I'm going to remove the plate. And we have the plate right there. Now to remove this uh, screw, all you got to do is push it all the way down inside the plate and unscrew it from this side. And it's the exact reverse procedure to put the new one on. So there's that one off, uh, and here's the D-ring, we're just going to put it in there, screw it down, and now we have a D-ring, quarter inch 20, uh, screw on the back that we can use our fingers to tighten, as opposed to using a screwdriver or, or a coin, but you can still use a coin if you wanted to on the center slot. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, thank you very much for your time and watching.